Okay, so this is 2015 module 2. Information systems are usually described as a collection of components used to produce quality information. Three components of an information system you would have users, hardware, software, and networking or networks. Outline the function of each of the components listed above. I'll go the first three. Um, fast space, I'll write all four. Users um, are the people who directly interact with a system um, they can be um, expert users or regular users all right that should be your two marks there hardware hardware is the uh, machinery the electronic machinery that store that um, processes no, that inputs processes and output the uh, uh, information that is produced from the data all right good and third one would be software software is the set of instructions that utilize the hardware to perform um, calculations on, on the data input into the system. And if you want to throw in networking, well, I did the three of them, users, hardware, and software. Those are the three easy ones. Networking is a little technical, so you can say networking. Um, transfers, you know, provides networking, provides a medium for the transfer of data from one node to node to another. All right, yeah, that should be good there. Uh, next one's outline the relationship between an operating system and application software. Um, the operating system is the foundation that the application software needs to work. No application can work. Basically, saying the same thing in a different way can work without an operating system. Somewhere inside there would be your two marks. But you basically want to state that you know the operating system is the foundation and the application software depends on the operating system. Define the term data warehousing. Data warehousing is the collection of data from various sources that is analyzed to produce information or trends something like that would be good outline two ways in which data warehousing may benefit an organization one they would have um they would have greater insights into the um into how all the parts of the organization work together um two they will be able to see um they'll be able to get tweets they'll be able to meet more meaningful relationships between different sets of data that can um help with business decision there yeah, that's that's one that's good there and there are many others um there's no definite answer for this like that definition but those are to um, in I describe each of the following types of software. State one example of each open source software. Software that can be edited, slash modified by anyone, can be used free of charge. An example would be you know, also Android and the other part to open source software. Right, next. Proprietary software would be software that is by an, an organization that is copyrighted and that is copyrighted it cannot be put or modified by anyone it's created. Um, example of that to be Windows, um, Mac OS. Yeah. Operating systems are usually some of the easiest things to, to do when you have to do proprietary software. Freeware. Freeware is software that is And after the trial period, it either limits functionality or it, um, or it requires you to create other provision. I think, um, example, Microsoft Office, Office 365, and well, there's so many other freeware software out there, so I don't know which one you'll choose, but Office 365 will give you like a start trial version and then you add a free free. Number four, define each of the following terms, authentication. Authentication is um, the 
have to solve determining if the credentials used to access a particular resource are, um, are allowed to other authentication or you could say um, you could also say if a username matches a password then there is encryption encryption is the encoding of a message or data stream or, or, or data stream before being sent and and the subsequent decoding of that message of it when it is received. We'll discuss one design feature that would help visually impaired persons access their email. Um, text to speech. Text to speech um, you can say text to speech. I have two options here. But I'll put text to speech first. Text to speech would um, play back the statements, play back the name of the menu. So that the um, person can uh, hear what option they are currently on when navigating the and have the email read to them allow. Right, so that is more that would be the first go to answer, but the other answer would be um, large font sizes. If you want to go with large font sizes, you could discuss that and say that the large font size will make it easier for them to see because they are visually impaired. They say that they're blind if they're visually impaired. So they're impaired so they're look at that. The internet is an example of various information technology systems working together for each acronym abbreviation. Write all the meaning. In full, explain one function of each LAN. Okay, LAN is local area network. This is a um, network that is located within the same geographical geographical G U E O G R A P H I C A geographical area and all devices can connect to each other and communicate information. Right, T C P I P that is Transmission Control Protocol or slash Intent Protocol. Um, TCP breaks up, um, breaks up data into packets and reassembles them. Reassembles them when received. And IT finds the most efficient route for data. I'll say to be transmitted, that's about data to be transmitted. Now, URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. This is the, um, the name given to a location on the internet that results to an IP address that will display the web page. SAS web resource because it doesn't have to be a web page, it could be a FTP site. Well, FTP sites have web HTML and everything like that. Explain it in domain name. A uh, domain name is a domain name creates a um, easily remembered, um, easily remembered um, category for all the websites on the internet. This makes a uh, web page more structure. Example.com commercial dot org organization. Um yep, right. Whenever you have explained examples are your friend always remember to outline three differences between the internet and intranet. Plenty, but all right. The internet um one internet is open to all users, while an intranet is restricted to one organization to the internet um, does not restrict any any protocol while I the intranet and restrict protocol on how it is set up Ooh, like, yeah the difference between the internet and the internet yeah the thing hard though um the okay the internet is managed by no one however an intranet is managed by a network administrator Ooh, wow that's a tough six marker that's a tough six marker you had to dig deep for that